From our studios in New York City, it's the Martha Stewart Show. Well, we've just finished the Oscars and all the other awards in Hollywood and celebrities walking the red carpet, flashing their megawatt smiles at the Golden Globes and those Oscars. And uh, my next guest is here to show us what makes a great smile and uh, how to improve yours and make you ready for the red carpet. Please welcome back to our show, my dentist, Dr. Mark Lowenberg. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Great to have you back. Um, yeah, I watched the Oscars and really the, the women with the biggest smiles and the brightest teeth always look the best. Yeah, but actually, you know, a smile is everything. Yes. People don't realize it because you're, if your smile's great, nobody pays attention to it. They pay attention to it when it's, it's not great. Oh, I see. But, yes. you know, when, you, when people walk the red carpets, everyone talks about their gowns, their clothes, even the men's tuxedos this year. Right. They talk about their makeup, their hair, whose jewelry is that. But nobody ever comments on their teeth. And the truth is, all of these celebrities have amazing smiles. Right. And that's part of looking good. Your smile is the ultimate fashion accessory. Yeah, it, it is indeed. And how how important is that that smile? I mean, how do you get that healthy looking, beautiful? Well, you know, because well, you're, well, you're the maestro. Well, but, but most most beautiful people are actually born with beautiful smiles, also. And for those of us that aren't, they have me. Yes. So I make them beautiful. <laughs> That's right. But but you know most. So what most, were your favorite smiles? I know um, I know who I, you're going to choose. I love them all, but you know, the uh, first of all, Angelina Jolie right. has an amazing smile, yeah. although. Funnily enough, nobody ever talks about her smile. They talk about her every, leg, uh, her leg. Her Actually, tattoos. when everyone when everyone was staring at her leg, I was staring at her teeth. Right. And <laughs> and and how could you not? I mean, when she smiles, first of all, she wears red lipstick that makes her teeth look super white. Right. But she has what what every celebrity, every beautiful woman has, which is a very broad smile. And when you have a broad smile and you show 10 to 12 teeth, it's very appealing now, to the 10 camera. 10 to 12 top teeth? 10 to 12 top teeth. Okay, I was counting. I don't know if I show 10 to 12, do you I? You do. <laughs> you have that gorgeous He's smile. I've been taking care of my teeth for a long time, and I wouldn't trust anybody else with my teeth. Well, thank you very much. At all. But so Angelina's smile yeah. I loved. I loved um, Juliana Margulies' smile. Oh, well. And, 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 you know, all their smiles are different. They, all these women have broad smiles. But whereas Angelina has um, pointy eye teeth, which are very prominent, Juliana Margulies has the kind of smile that's warm and sweet and sort of is very engaging and disarming. Yeah. It just, it's just a beautiful smile. Very and then there was good. Heidi Klum, oh, who, yes. is, who also has an amazing smile. Yeah. But Heidi's teeth, like a lot of supermodels, are very square-shaped. But they, she also has a broad smile. So the key to women's smiles being beautiful is a broad smile and whether the teeth are square shaped or round shaped, it just gives a different look. But the broad smile is what does it. So do you know if you have pointy teeth or square teeth or oblong teeth or round teeth? Do I, mean, I know? No, I'm asking the audience. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, this is something to think about and you should really look and see. And, and, uh, and also, are your teeth bright and white and and vibrant. But, that, but that works more on women. On men's teeth, it's the complete opposite. Oh. Men, you don't want to see 10 to 12 teeth. No, then they, they look so, like... Yeah, they, 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 they sort of look like all teeth. Right. You know, the, if, you look, <laughs> if, you, if you looked at the men that everybody talks about, Brad Pitt or George Clooney, they have very irregular teeth. They're square shaped, they're right. very masculine, they're very aggressive, they're not perfect, and they're not super white. Right. So a man's teeth. He is a nice A man's smile. smile he Come does, on. but his teeth are not perfect. I know, but. Look at that tooth. It's a little crooked down there. I like that. Hey, when you look like Brad Teeth, you don't Brad, Brad Pitt, you don't need teeth. That's right. But but <laughs> but 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 the truth is, men don't have to have perfect teeth. The women on the red carpet did. Have to. So how can people at home get the best smile? How can they make their smile the best? Well, if you're not lucky enough to be born with beautiful teeth, you know, there are things that you could do to make your smile look better. First of all, you could buy over-the-counter bleaching products like Crest White Strips. I love That's them. That's good. Oh. They really work. They make your teeth look a little bit lighter. I think part of the thing is your expectation can't be too great. They're not going to get Hollywood white, but they're going to get whiter. Um, if, you, if you bleach your teeth, you could see on the screen that the teeth do get a little bit whiter and cleaner looking. If you don't want to bleach your teeth or if that's not your problem and you want to reshape your teeth, this is one of the most common things. It's called cosmetic recontouring. And it's where if you have teeth, for instance, if you had pointy eye teeth, pointy canines, and you wanted them rounded off like this person on the lower teeth, the bottom teeth were very pointy. Oh, I see. You could yeah. round them off. 
and make them more even. He could go into the Twilight movies. Uh, only if we turn them upside down. <laughs> but, um, but and, and then the other thing that you could do is you could do bonding, which is not very invasive. You could take a chipped look tooth at, or a broken oh, tooth so much and, just, better. and just add some bonding material to Boy. it and make teeth look as if you were born that way. And then way. never eat crusty bread. Exactly. <laughs> never eat again. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But they're, but, it, but they're great. So there are many things that you have to do to keep your teeth really healthy and good. And when you go to Dr. Lowenberg um, or to his office where there are two other amazing dentists. Amazing and, dentists, and I agree. I had the best tooth cleaning I have ever had the last visit. Really? Yes, the best. I mean, it was just, I mean, it was pleasant. It doesn't hurt. And well, that's because you're a very good patient. You have your teeth cleaned regularly. I do, And yes. by the way, that's the trick. All these people spend a ton of money trying to make their teeth look better. But if you don't take care of your teeth, they're not gonna stay that way. And the trick to taking care of your teeth is using dental floss. It you is. have that's to use the, dental that's floss. The, that's the, I do that like three times a day. So this is what I came to teach you today. Okay, good, I wanna see the what The way I'm... you use dental floss properly This one's missing is, a tooth. Yes, that's because they didn't floss that tooth. Oh. <laughs> that's what happens. So the way to use it properly is wrap it around your fingers, slide it back and forth, through the tooth and then wrap it around one side of the tooth, clean under the gum, slide it up, and then wrap it around the other tooth next oh, to it. Oh, okay. So you go up and down. Each tooth. Each tooth. So you have to get the neck of each tooth to, to actually clean the surface of the tooth. Okay. And you keep doing that, you'll have a beautiful smile for the rest of your life. Well, anyway, we're, um, we're, we're very excited to have you here and to learn these things and, and dental hygiene I think it's just one of the most important things that a person can practice. I'm glad you feel that no, way. No, I do because it's uh, because it's it, it prolongs your life. It definitely prolongs right? your life. That's it does. Been, in studies that's been shown. And uh, all of this information is great. And uh, for more information about Dr. Lowenberg, you can go to our website at MarthaStewart.com. Uh, and um, and do you have a website too, Dr. Lowenberg? I do. What? It's called Lowenberg and Lutucci. Okay. And uh, all of that will be spelled out on MarthaStewart.com. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.